and welcome. So this is a Monday. And Mondays, I always try to bring in a little bit of pattern work because we have different kinds of customers and some love the pattern work, some hate the pattern work. So the goal is to keep the pattern work simple so that you love it, maybe as much as I do, and that you really wanna do it. So this is really fun. Um, I, this top was sent to me by a customer and when I first saw the top, I thought, I, I emailed her back. I said, listen, I can't do it because I can't see the top. You got to be able to see the top. But the more it kind of sat in my mind, I thought, you know what, this is just a fun little thing to do and, and I'm going to spend some time on it. So it's taken me quite a bit of time, but I'm going to shortcut it all for you. So it won't take you quite a bit of time, I promise. So we're going to look at this mannequin because this is kind of a quick mock-up of it because this is where we're going to start. And what it is... Is, is it's like a little cowl and it's wrapped over um, a base. I'll, kind of, I'll show it to you as we go along, but that's the top we're gonna make. It's very cute, I mean, it's really cute. I can't guarantee it's exactly like it because I can't see the original thing. And I don't remember who the designer was. I do remember it was expensive and I really like it. I love the asymmetric flow, I like everything about it. All right, so, and this was just a scrap, this was a, um, a remnant piece. It has a run in it, so it's a good fabric to use because it's two-sided. And so that's what I want to use. I want to use a fabric that's two-sided. So let me kind of explain this to you. I guess the best thing is to use this. Um, this is an overlay. So you've got one base here, and then you've got an overlay that's going to come up over here. I've pinned this here because I'm going to use the fold-over elastic. And this comes up to the shoulder, it sews into the shoulder and holds that in place, but otherwise that's all loose. Okay, so I'm going to give you pattern, we're going to talk about fabric, and then we're going to talk sewing. And this is just fun, okay? <laughs> this is just so much fun. And I've spent way too much time on this project, but I'm telling you, I really enjoyed it. So I, I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. Okay, so what you're going to start with is like 113. Uh, any of the bases, the sweater set, you can start with a sweater set, you've just got to lengthen it. Any of the bases that are lengthened. I like the neckline on 113, so I went with 113. And what I did is I started with um, and duplicated the front. Now, you would not need to duplicate the front, except I wanted to throw another component in. And I want the, the bottom of this is asymmetric. So it's going to go off at an angle. And I wanted um, to use the stripe or this fabric at the bottom too. So there's a few things going on here, if that's fair. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. It could be easier if you don't want to do that. So I want this, because the swag's going this way, I want the tunic at the bottom. Now I want it to be shorter on this side and go this way and this is going to go this way. They're both going to go opposite directions. So this is the top, and when you do this, I would strongly recommend you put front and then up so that you don't turn it accidentally. So all I did to this piece is I duplicated it, and then I turned up three inches on one side and took it to nothing over here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it, I'm going to lay the bottom right along the stripe of this fabric so the stripe will come down and across. It'll be asymmetric. It'll be three inches shorter on this side than it will be on that side. I mean, that's easy enough. I know you know that's easy enough. Okay, then I'm going to do the back and I'm going to do the same way. And those are the only changes I'm going to do the back. Again, just make sure you've got this side up because they're going to go like this and you want the obviously the shorter side to be on the same side. And again, I'm going to lay it on the fabric like so, same place. In fact, I'm going to lay, I cut two yards of fabric, two panels, two of these panels, and one's going to get cut like this, one's going to get cut like this. It's perfect. It'll work into my fabric exactly right. Remember, the fabric always wins, and I love it, I love it, I love it. We're going to cut that out. Okay, then... All you have to do then now is make the overlay. This is not hard. You're just gonna have to listen. <laughs> um, so, and because every overlay is a different size 
And so I'm just going to show you how I did it. You're going to trace the neckline. You're going to trace the width of the shoulder and the armholes. So just that upper portion. Then what you're going to do is you're going to close up this dart and you don't literally have to close it up, but you're going to close it up and draw a line that goes to the bottom of the dart on the left side. On the right side, you're going to go two inches from the bottom. So you're going to go almost the whole thing. So two inches from the bottom here, the bottom of the dart on this side, because you're making it for your size. So you're, you're starting with your duplication. Then you're going to go, you're going to lay a yardstick down. And one inch wide, yardsticks are usually an inch wide, one inch wide, you're going to go 18 inches down, and you're going to put a dot. And then you're going to draw a line from, from the bottom of the dart to the dot, and you're going to draw a line in two and a half inches. You came up two inches, you go in two and a half inches, and then across here, you want a little width here, and I'll show you why, because you're going to nail that into the um, shoulder. And then you're just going to draw from this line kind of just at a curve. And I'll show you how I did it. All right, I'm going to turn it like that because here's my overlay. I actually did it on this piece, but then I actually made the overlay and I'll show you what I did. So here's the duplication of the top part. Okay, all the way down to the armhole. Then just go to the bottom of the dart and just take the shape of the side seam and see how I traced it. So I don't have to create it because it's going to sew into the side seam. So you're going to want it to be the same shape. So I just took it from there. I duplicated the shape, but I stopped at the end of the dart. There's my dot. It's an inch wide, 18 inches down. You can see on this side, I came in two and a half inches. Let's make sure you can see. I came in two and a half inches and drew a straight line to that point. And then this last area, I made this one inch wide. And then just drew a line to the side. And what I did, as you know me and my little French curve, I just used a French curve. And it doesn't matter the numbers. Don't get hung up on the numbers. Just use the curve and connect it in because that the shape of that curve is not even going to see, or not even going to be shown. Okay, now this is going to sew together. So there's your overlay. If you don't get it, just hit rewind because I did everything. Two and a half inches in, up, up. That's it. There's your overlay. Now what this overlay is going to do, this piece is going to come up, it's going to twist around, it's going to sew to that piece. That's going to create a cowl, cowl-like effect, and that's what this piece is. So that's what I'm going to show you. In our, I'm going to bring this up just to make sure we can see it. So in our sewing, we're going to finish the edges of the overlay first. Finish, finish, finish. Those three edges. Finish those first. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to sew the shoulder seams and you're going to sew the, sh the overlay into the shoulder seam, which means again, this is going to come up, it's going to twist so that the right side is up again. So just bring it this way and you're going to sew it into the shoulder seam. It doesn't matter how much, as much as you want it, it doesn't make a difference. But you're going to sew that into the shoulder seam or the front and the back, so that's going to hold that overlay in place. And all these edges are already finished. That's what's making my cowl. That's what's making all these cool directions. Isn't it? It's so cute. It's really cute. I really like it. All right. So then once you've done the shoulder seams, I'm going to go ahead and do the neck edge. And I'm going to do the fold over elastic. And you'll see that you have the overlay is the same shape as the, bot, the base. It goes right to the back. So this fold over elastic is no big deal. You're just catching two layers in the front. All right. Then what I'm going to do is the sleeves and for my sleeves I'm only going to do like a short sleeve just polka dot nothing else um no borders no nothing I've got enough going on here I've got the asymmetric I want the sleeves to just kind of be shh I want them to be quiet I don't want anything going on with the sleeves um you could do it sleeveless if you wanted to your option I'm going to put a little short sleeve in there and then do the sleeves the side seams and then hem it up that's it. Very simple, very quick, but really cool. And again, it's just a great t-shirt. It's just a really fun t-shirt. So, um, again, the order is I'm going to finish the neck edge. I mean, finish the overlay edge, which is this piece and this piece here. 
Then I'm going to sew the shoulder seams all together, front and back. Make sure I include this in the shoulder seam. You can see this turns over. Doesn't really make any difference which way you go with it. It still creates a really cool fold there, a really cool cowl. So sew that into the shoulder seam, finish the neck edge, put in the sleeves, do the side seams, hem it up. All right, so now when you're looking at that, what you see is both sides of the fabric are showing. So with this particular fabric, I liked that the, that the both sides were okay. I, you gotta use the fabric that you like both sides. All right, so let's just go over again. You got the pattern work. If you're not sure you like it asymmetric, you could just cut it straight. You couldn't with the with the border. I want to do the asymmetric, but you could just with a regular piece of fabric just cut it straight and then cut it off if you decided. You could do that. So create your pattern, create the overlay. Showed you how to do that. Sleeve is just shorter, nothing different with a sleeve. Fabric you want stretch in both directions. You want a fabric that you like both sides. See, you walk in the park, and I love this little top. So we're going to make it, and I'm going to put it on, and then we'll go from there. All right, let's get cutting. really like it. It's all done and I love it. And I'll tell you why I love it. First off, the fabric. The fabric is wonderful and y'all know that when you have great fabric it feels good. It's 100% cotton. I love it. I love the border because it's angular and it makes me maybe look skinny. I love the fold over elastic. It's like a built-in cowl. I love that. I just really like it. So I wouldn't change anything but there's things you could change. You could make the sleeves different. You all know that. If you wanted it to lap lower, you could make that piece longer. Gosh, there's all kinds of variables. But hope you have fun as much as I did. And it won't take you as long, that's for sure, because I had to figure it all out. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.